Hello. I'm going to do an impromptu. Get everything set up here. Just a few little routine things. I got three. Three in here already. Hi, Teresa. Hi, honey. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Barb. <laughs> Waiting on everybody to come in. This is an impromptu uh, video. If anybody watches this later, then you can zip through any of the chat that we're doing with the that I'm talking to the live people in the room. Hi, Becky. <laughs> Long time no see, everybody. Hi, Brittany. That was a really fun uh, show, Becky. Lisa and from My Ecleptic Life and Tanya from This, That, and Chat and Becky and Aunt Beck's Creation did um, a video, a hangout just now for those of you uh, who were tuning in. But... Um, it was cute. They, we, we were making a do -si do book, and I wanted to show you my do -si do book. Hi, little sister Cheryl. It was really nice. I loved your uh, paint. Your uh, I thought you were going to make ATC cards, Becky, but you turned them into a book, so I liked that. That was nice. I had these pieces of cardboard that uh, were playing on both sides. Uh, I think Lisa had them. They were they were this the the middle parts of the canned cat food. I can it. So uh, and I did it. I did a boo boo on mine, but I liked I like my boo boo. <laughs> You're not gonna believe what I did. Not going to believe it. Me make a mess. Me make do something wrong. <laughs> it was one of those. Oops. Oh, I like it. Oops, I like it. I took my um, cardboard and I made three booklets like this. I did three U-shapes, and then I glued the middle one to each side. Each each side, I glued these two together, and I made a long, uh, sturdier page. These two are double thick. Instead of doing the the little flaps uh, for the spines, so when I go through to to do a uh, to sew my signatures in, I won't be going through double cardboard. But this is pretty thick cardboard too. It's not flimsy. So uh, anyway, I painted it all blue and turquoise, which I liked. And then I stamped all kinds of stamps on top of it till you see the stamping. Lots of different stamps. I used about 10 10 or more stamps so uh, I was glad to use these stamps I didn't get I don't always get to use them very often and this was a good way to utilize all my stamps so anyway after I stamped it <clears throat> well you know the ink from the stamps if you put glue over top of it <coughs> The, the glue is wet and it'll smear the ink. Well, I tested it on the spine right here. And it did smear just a little. You can't tell. <coughs> Excuse me. But I, it did smear just a little. And I only glued a little bit on the end of my book. To give it uh, some stability, I guess I wanted to I wanted to put glue on the seams, so 
so I thought, well, I can't glue the whole th put Mod Podge on at all because <clears throat> it's going to smear on my ink. So I didn't want to do that. Let's see if I can't straighten this up. There we go. So, <clears throat> so I thought, well, I've got some clear spray <clears throat> up in my cabinet here. And I saw my clear spray and it said semi gloss. And that's all I saw. Well, it was slim semi gloss, but it was also white. So I went outside real quick and I laid it up on the, <laughs> some blocks and I went shh. And I went, oops, <laughs> it's not clear. It's white. So I said, well, you know, I didn't do it too heavily over here. I sp it, this this right here is the heaviest part. So I said, well, I might as well do the other side. <laughs> so I flipped it over and went, shh. So now I like it. <laughs> it's like putting just so on it. <laughs> But it's got a little, it's got a clear gloss, semi gloss on it too. <laughs> so, anyway, oops, I thought I had a can of clear up there, which I probably do. I just didn't grab it. So, it's very, very um, nonchalant. So, I think it feels better with that little bit of semi gloss on it. So, this is a dosy -si dough -si -do book. And um, it's it's three books, three books in one. So that's what that's all about now. So anyway, I left it with the white on it, and maybe I can I can still stamp on top of this uh, if it's not dark enough. But I'll wait. I'm gonna wait and see. Uh, I am going to probably put some kind of a ribbon on it to belly band it together. Uh, I could do something on this end and then something on these two to belly band it. So, uh, yeah, that's what I did. So, anyway, I was sitting here uh, folding my paper for some signatures. And I've got a variety of paper that I thought I'd show you. And what I did for my paper is I just measured it's uh, three and three fourths wide by six inches. So I cut my paper to fit to fit uh, to fit in my signatures, my book. So I did it uh, so that it just barely goes to the edge. So that'll work. And uh, I've got three pieces of uh, scrapbook paper. So I thought I would try to do three signatures, but I don't think three is going to be enough. I think I'm going to have to put at least three in each in each book, three signatures in each in each section. So I'll get me some more scrapbook paper. So, uh, but then uh, I got a variety of other paper that I was going to divide up. So I've got this graphic paper and I've got this graphic paper, which is real mild, real faint. It's, you can barely see it. It's real pastel. And I, I, I don't know if it was meant to be that way or if it's just faded over time because it looks old. But what I will do is I will alter, I will do one at a time, put them, I will separate all my papers. So I'll show you how I do that. Let me fold some more up. But I've got some, uh, I've got some different kinds of graphs. And I've got some school paper got a bone folder right here 
So there's some more graft. I'm going to go ahead and score it shut. Score a, a fold in them. So anybody else continuing to do anything? Uh, but I guess they're going to uh, finish uh, doing the uh, book binding next time in two weeks. And uh, show you how to put a closure on. And of course, I have to put dangles on mine. I like to put dangles and charms. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be putting, um, you know, how we put, how I put dangles on the ends. I did a video uh, on this again. Um, I think it was yesterday. Somebody wanted to know how I did my Coptic stitch. And I did it Bethy style. It wasn't traditional. <laughs> but it worked. It worked out. And it's just a stitching that you put. And it looks like crow's feet on the ends. And uh, the, the person I learned how to do a Coptic stitch was Lisa Marie Jenkins. And she's the one where we learned how to do these little scrappy books from. And she's got two videos on Coptic stitching. And uh, But I did this as an example to show a couple of the girls that came in. And um, and it worked out fine. And, and it lays flat. It lays flat every time you open it up. And that's the whole point of the Coptic stitch. So I did another little book aside from my first book that I did. This was my first one. The uh, TP books. So uh, it was fun to do. And I think I'm going to I'm going to put all of my little uh, things that I make like this in a basket on my coffee table. And uh, that way, you know, when people come over, they can play with them and look at them. And then I can, you know, have them on display. But I'll be putting danglies on on this book, too. Uh, it's just, it's it's a must-have in my house. I got to have it. But I just sort of stuck them up to the side uh, on this. But, um, yeah, so that was fun to do. So, okay, postectomy broken jewelry. <laughs> oh, you posted my, my broken jewelry from Lisa last night. I haven't posted mine yet, but I'll show it to you. It turned out kind of cute. <laughs> There's a face. He looks kind of like a clown, but nevertheless, the face. Whew, smells like nail polish. <coughs> Hi, Marianne. So this was mine, and it turned out to be a snail. And I just used a piece of cardboard. And... Uh, I'm going to sit it up on top of my cabinets up real high. <laughs> Mary, Mary's running, running, running. Okay. But I did uh, take a picture of it, but I won't be able to post it till I get off of here. And I'll put it on the leases and uh, my Facebook page. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Here comes Joe. Say hello to Joe. Say hi, Joe. Hi, ladies. 
It looks like a turkey now. I know it's not a turkey. <laughs> so that's it, yeah. What? <laughs> My snail. Your snail. It's a snail. Snail snail. So anyway, that's that. So I measured all this paper out and cut it up to the right size and I'm ready to make some signatures here in a second. So, and I'm kind of, um, uh, I don't know, addicted to paper, I guess. I have a lot of paper. And I used to do I used to do a lot more pen pals than I have now. And and at one time I think I had about 25 pen pals. So I did a lot of writing and I collected a lot of writing paper. And uh I've I've traded my pen pals in for you guys. <laughs> You're going to have asparagus tonight? All right. We like asparagus. And I usually have steamed vegetables every night. We'll have steamed vegetables. Yeah, it was a nice change to do an afternoon uh, uh, hangout. It was a very nice change. So I think they're going to try to alternate it every other month. So that'll be nice. So now I'm going to divide these papers up and, uh, and make some signatures. And I'll I'll do the way Mary does her monthly her monthly journals and alternate the pages. That's how I like to do it too. Just because we can. Just because we can. So I just vari I do a variety of each sheet, and then I I put it in um, we'll put it in scrapbook paper, and I think I'm going to do three per per set book. I might be able to do more. We'll see. We'll just see about that, won't we, Joe? That's right. How many is on your thing today? 20. 20. Yeah. So, y'all want to watch me do this or you want me to do something else? Well, that would be good, Mary. That would be nice for you to be a guest. I don't know how many people can they, can they put on, on these uh, live hangouts. Mary, do you know if there's a maximum amount of people? 
Oh, Mary, did you get put in the timeout? <laughs> I'm not sure either. Well, I'm just going to put a few of these signatures together then. And I think Tanya was talking about how these feather out, the pages feather out because they're folded the same. But I can, I'm going to go back and um, crease them real good, make sure they're tight, and I might do a little trim. But I think I also allowed, I allowed a quarter of an inch. So they won't, they're not going to stick out. There's, there, it's going to be even with the, the book. So I allowed for that when I cut my sheet. Yeah, they creep out. And, uh, and so uh, they're not going to be any longer than the book. So I won't have to trim them anymore. I think I cut them. A, I measured good. I measured twice so I can cut once. Isn't that right, Joe? That's the way you do it. <laughs> He's laughing at me. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. I'm he laughing. just loves it that I say these I'm, crazy I'm, things. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing because <laughs> you're over there doing that, and I'm over here doing this for you. Oh, look what Joe just gave me. He gave me a security envelope. Woohoo! It's kind of like a basket basket weave. Yeah, it's a basket weave. There's a little one. That'll go in my Tanya file. I've got a file with Tanya's name on it that I put all my junk mail in and all my cardboard in. <laughs> hey, I got him trained. He loves it that I do I do all this stuff. He thinks it's good. I do. It makes me happy, and he likes it when I'm happy. I do. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea, Teresa. To put some lace on the edges of your of your pages. That is very good. Very, very good. And you can also trim them up if you need to, but if they're little signatures. But I don't think, I think I can put four in there comfortably. Of course, by the time you add little pockets and add little, little things to your pages, your book will get fat. But I still think I can add one more. And I think I've got one more. And this is um, two pieces of scrapbook paper. Did I glue these together? No, they're just double-sided. They're real thick, natural. I didn't glue these together. So... Trim it down a little bit. I'm putting that in my journaling by five box for texture. That'll be in my texture pile. Okay, here we go. So
there's no uh, rhyme or reason to how I do this. Well, good, Mary. I did too. I I was I saw your journalings this morning, and they were very nice. I liked that you did all of the same color on every page and it makes your book um, uniformed, you know, like it belongs together. Isn't that right, Joe? That's right. He's he's not going to argue with me. <laughs> I heard I heard the girls talking that if you argue about something, then you're supposed to straighten it out. Nobody wants to straighten anything out if there's something wrong. He's gibber. He's he's talking gibberish. Volunteer. If you all need to ask Joe anything, now's the time because he's not gonna stay in here very long. Oh. <laughs> well, you don't want. You'll be doing something. Well, I can't cut the grass. It's raining. I know it rained. It poured. We had a little thunderstorm. Becky uh, up in. Uh, South Carolina, she had some rain too. Well, we did too, Becky. Did it ever rain, Becky? I heard it thunder. We could hear the thunder, and she ran out to get the happy mail real quick before it rained. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get around your That caught me. Got me there. I'll go ahead and give it a haircut. Now I've got four signatures. Let's see how that goes now. <clears throat> I think that'll be much better. And then and then when I add things to my pages, um, the way I do my junk journals, it'll it'll come out, it'll come out of space a little bit by the time I do stuff to it. Because I like to use stamps and ephemera and pictures and hi Lori hi to everybody else if anybody else came in I didn't say hi I'm saying hi now Marianne you're bas basically homebound okay well I'm glad you're in here <laughs> Mary, did you see the, the catalogs, my free catalogs that I got? Oh, I'm so glad, Mary Ann. I'm glad you're here, too. Hi, Pam. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We just, uh, for those of you... Okay, I got I get a lot of images from my from my movie catalogs and the and the record catalog. You get the little tiny uh, albums and the books and the movies. <laughs> anyway, uh, we, we did a, just did a do si do book for anybody that wants to know. And uh, the do si do book is a book w that goes back and forth in different directions. And I watched a really cute video this morning on a two, it was only two do -si dos and it was for a bride and a groom. So one side was the boy and one side was the girl and the lady doing it was doing it for a wedding. And she, she had, it was a really, I don't know, remember who it was for, but I just did do -si do in the search. And it was D O S I D O was the spelling. I think it's spelled several different ways. And uh, and it was a very it was very nice for a wedding couple. And you could even take two uh, of those little tiny picture album books and put them back to back and decorate them. And then there would be slots for pictures for a wedding. It was cute. And. Um, so, uh, 
but I didn't do all of the seams on the ends. All I did was three three U-shaped cardboard pieces, and I, then I glued back to back and back back to back here and back to back here. So the opposite one is just glued to the other two. Yes, twins. She mentioned twins too in the video. If you had twins or if you had uh, a, anything to love, it, it'd be cute for anniversary. It'd be cute for weddings. And of course, we're doing ours for junk journaling. So I'll get some more scrapbook paper. See where that double sided. I'm sure I got some more of that double sided paper. I might have glued them together. I could have. But this scrapbook paper is real cardboardish, cardstockish. And I don't really care what color they are because uh, these have embossed embossing on them because you can feel you can feel the emboss these are see the bird you can barely see the birds let's see if i can get a picture there they are embossed scrap paper travel the world oh this is what lisa needs travel the world for her for her traveling book it's got maps I should send her some of this. I should send her some. And there's a United States. Oh, Joe went in there and turned me on in the TV. He's watching TV. I'm going to have to send some of this to Lisa for her traveling book. If I get it out in the mail tomorrow, she'll get it this week. This is like air mail. But it's it's uh it's got stars embossed embossed on it. And the the stars are on this side. It's really hard to see. You can sort of see him right there. Well, I'll just send her some of this. She sent me so much mermaid stuff. I got enough to do 20 books. And, oh, I got some Happy Mail today from Becky. I'll let, I'll let y'all see that, too. I love this blue. This is my favorite color of blue. All of this blended together. This is my favorite color right there. All of that together. It's not just one shade. It's all of them. Isn't that cute? Did Lisa come in? She probably had to go take a break. It'll be a it'll be our surprise. Tags and maps. Here's some uh, tags she can cut apart. This this would be good for uh, her daughter's poem. 
you know, Hannah made a poem. That's why she's making the journal. That would be perfect for her to write the poem on. <laughs> well, Nancy, I know what you mean. Barb, going to go take a nap? Okay, Barb. We'll see you on the flip side somewhere. Well, I can't decide which ones to send her. I might as well send her all of them. These are just kind of so solid collars. Gave her a tag. I might have to cut. I might. I'm going. What I'm going to do is fill up a. Um, I'll fill up one of these envelopes. And if I have to, I'll cut the tags this direction. Becky uh, was so kind the other night. She cut me up, used her die cuttings, and sent me some um, mermaids. And, and I just got the mail today. Now, I was coming in here to get me some paper. I'll take that one. Some of these non-travel ones. For my uh, journal. I'll get this other polka dot one. Okay, but I'll uh, I'll take these travel papers. I don't know that I can mail something this size. Does anybody know about mailing rules? And uh, the only thing I know to do, I can either fold them or I can cut them to fit. I wish she was in here. I'd ask her. Does anybody know, uh, has anybody seen what Lisa's done with her travel book? That she's been wanting to make. Janet, do you know anything about Lisa's travel book? Have you seen any clues to uh, like the size of it? Okay. That's fine, Mary. I'm just I'm just hanging out with everybody. Um, I'm thinking it'll be like this way in her book, travel book. It'll be like this size. Not Maybe not quite this big. But if I take the paper and cut it off down here to fit in the envelope. And then she can use it this way in a book. Maybe. I'm thinking the book will be this kind of size. I'm hoping it'll be this size or smaller is what I'm thinking. 
that's where I think I'm going to do with the paper. And then I can get, instead of sending her this little part I'm going to fold, I'll go ahead and cut it. And then she'll, I can get more paper in the, in this envelope. Because it'll fit this direction. If not, then she can collage. Yeah. Yeah. And that way, if, if, if the paper's not big enough or something, she can collage. But that should work. Um, because, uh, because this is uh, 9 inches by 12. So I think she I think it would be fine. Well, Marianne, I was worried about the size of the envelope. I was just going to use this size. And I think this size will be fine. I really do. And most of the pages I will have the picture on the top. That's what I'm going to do. See, this will be at the top so that I can cut that one. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. And this is real heavy. This is heavy cardstock. I think that'd be a good idea. Oh, Lisa. Well, welcome. We're not doing anything, Lisa. We're not doing a thing. We're 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 just we're just in here talking and chatting and 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 we're not we're not doing anything wrong. No, no, no. We're not doing anything. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> Okay, Lisa, the, be the beans are spilt. We're spilling the beans. We've been in here conniving. I just happened to find this paper in my stash. And look, it's traveling paper. Look at that one. Air balloons. Are you watching, Lisa? <laughs> and these are like some tags. And then these are some famous places. And here's a table with some items on it. And this would be, wouldn't this be cute? To put Hannah's poem on, or part of her poem, or another poem. Wouldn't this be cute? And look at this one. It's maps. And here's some more tags. Uh, these are like airplane tags. And this, and they're all embossed. They all have some kind of embossing on them. This one you can't, you can't, you'd have to out, maybe put some ink to it to highlight it. Mhm. Mm and then this one is another uh, air air travel, and it's got some embossing cloud the clouds. I'm gonna see if I can't show you the clouds. Very, you can barely see a cloud right there. And it's embossed. This is real heavy paper. It's real heavy cardstock paper. And this one's got the world on it. This is my favorite color. This is my favorite. And it's got a texture, uh, a bumpy texture to it. It feels so smooth. And this one doesn't have any texture. It's just uh, license plates. 
and here's some luggage and here's some words that say cities vancouver rome las vegas bore bore and this is some air um airmail stripes airmail stripes and they've got stars embossed on it there's the stars and they're embossed to go to this side and i know you can't see them but you can feel them well anyway <clears throat> lisa if i take some of these papers and cut them to this size it's nine by 12, nine by 12. Will that be big enough for your book, your journal book? Would this size be big enough for your book that you're making your travel journal? If I cut, if I cut them to fit the envelope, would, is, is your book going to be any bigger than this? Or do you know how big your book's going to be? Hi, everybody coming in. Hi, Nancy. Hi, River. Hi, everybody. Lisa, my book is eight by eight. Woohoo! So, if I send you 9 by 12 sheets, then you can use this paper in your book. And I'll, I'll just cut them to fit the envelope. And, I, and I'll just take this, this part off and send you 9 by 12 sheets. And, I, and I'll send you a whole bunch of these. Would that be okay? Would you like it? Would you likey, likey? Just say yes. Just say yes. <laughs> that's what we. That's what we're trying to do. I'm gonna cut them all to fit into this envelope, and get as many in here as I can. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Oh my gosh, Becky. Oh no. As long as it wasn't moving, but it was tickling, huh? Oh no. I have done that before. Yeah. Or had a stock, a sock inside your jeans, an extra sock, and you find it falling down out <laughs> of your shoes. Okay. No, I don't know. Do not know. You don't know what you're going to do for the decoration. So you can use some of this paper for collaging decorating your pages do you want some of this paper it'll be trimmed trimmed down to 9 by 12 inches and you can use what you want of course She didn't want to say. She's not going to tell me. Because you could uh, use this in your die cut and cut some, you know, cut, cut things out with them throughout your book.
Well, these pages, these pages are like stock cardstock. Well, I got double. I've got, I've got, I've got this much more up, up, up in my cupboard. Okay, I understand. And you know, but even if you use this and put put the poem on top on a different piece of paper, this would be pretty around your chipboard. And some of the pages, well, even this is kind of plain, but she might be able to write a little bit on some of these pages. Um, this one and this one she can write on. This one she can write on. And uh, and like this one, but it, she would need a piece of paper on it. I'm just saying. Thanks, Teresa. I'm trying to talk Teresa into letting me mail her some of it. <laughs> but um, you could put, and I'm sending you a tag page. Um like this one and see she can write on write on this page where'd it go this this page here are tags and you can cut these out and have them dangle oh and play along well I've got I've got this much more Okay, Teresa, I will. Prayers for Teresa. She just got some bad news. Oh, my goodness. So sorry, Teresa. We will. I hope everything turns out okay. Well, Lisa, I can still play along with you. It. I just thought it would I just thought that maybe some of it would be cute if you wanted to use it. Okay, I'm gonna send you some. And if you use it, you use it. And if you don't, you have it for your next project. It's okay. You sent me so much stuff in that mermaid book. I'm going to, I'm probably going, I have enough stuff to, to make several mermaid books. And uh, Becky just sent me some too. And I just got it today. She cut me up some, <clears throat> some dyes. Some, uh, she had a, one of those those uh, dye machines and she cut me out some uh, I'm, I'm happy to do it Lisa this is what Becky sent me <gasps> look at that oh I haven't got to do this yet this will be my first uh, packing tape transfer thing I can practice on this thanks Becky I, as a matter of fact I found my packing tape and I was going to do some do some packing tape. Ooh, isn't that pretty? That'll be good for a mermaid tail. Oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. Scale paper. Scaly paper. Perfect. I love the colors. Oh, look at the shells. Yeah. Okay, this will be perfect. Here's some more packing tape. These are going in the mermaid books. I'm, I've uh, I've promised a book for Lisa, and I've promised a book for Janet for being my first mod. Janet helped me start out when I first started um, streaming, and I didn't know what what I was doing. <laughs> and so Janet. Janet helped me get my Facebook page group started, and she's just has been my right arm all through the thick and the thin. 
So I told Janet I was going to make her a mermaid book too. And these are cute. These are cute. And this will be cute. This will be cute to uh, have her sitting on a rock. Wow, that's nice. And I love the waves and all of the cutouts. I watched her do this, too. I watched her cut them out. Thank you so much. And, oh, a little bit of, a little bit of paper. I'm going to have lots of tuck spots in your book. And lots of mermaid paper. Love it. Oh, that'll be pretty. You all gonna you're gonna like what I'm gonna do. I've got some I got some good ideas. This is beautiful. Mermaid scales. Very nice. Very pretty. That that'll be wonderful. And I know she sent me all the little doodads that came out of the die cuts too. Oh, and some charms. Oh, look how cute those are. There will be charms on your books. Those are nice. Very, very nice. And look, a little ACT card. I'll put it in one of the text box. Yeah, I'm going to have lots of fun. I set my card table up over here, and it's it's overloaded with with stuff I'm going to, I've collected. <laughs> I've got wallpaper. <laughs> I've got lots and lots of things, and and yes, I do want to do this and and um, and make some make some for myself too. I have never done it yet, so thank you, Becky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, and then I also got an ACT card from Janet. Did she? Did she, uh, she? I don't think Janet came in. Janet sent me an ACT from Lisa's uh, pick ten. Isn't that cute? It's got texture on it. It feels like felt. But it's textured paste. Janet does really pretty things. She does. She does nice pretty things. I've got I've gotten a uh, ACT from her before. I just happened to have an ACT folder where I will put her card in. But I'll thank her again when, when I see her. If she watches. And she sent me a little bit of happy mail. Which are some pretty pretties. And um, they're all sparkly. And they look like wallpaper. Mary Mary, don't look at this, Mary. Don't look at this, Mary. <laughs> it's black and gold. Isn't that pretty? And she sent me some real sparkly butterflies. Aren't those party? I'll use them on the ACTs. Mary would like this one because it's gold. <laughs> she saw it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're going to have to send Janet an ACT, Mary, and maybe she'll send you some of it. It's real thick wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> that was it, Mary. That was it. So, okay. I'm going to leave these out and y'all do these. I'm going to get, have to get a pan of water. So, let's just see
So, anyway, um, Lisa, did you see my do -si do book I was doing? I'm on a rabbit trail right now. I uh, was just putting some signatures together of a variety of paper. And uh, there's all the paper I'm doing. And I got up here to get some scrapbook paper to make some more signatures with. And I found this travel paper. So there was my rabbit trail. <laughs> Not yet. Tuesday night, next Tuesday, is we're going to do journaling by fives again. Oh, that's fine. Ask him. Yeah, sure. And um, and I don't know how to do hangouts I, I, from my end. So if Lisa doesn't mind doing the hosting, uh, she did a fantastic job the last time. And um, and we're going to do journaling by fives again. If anybody wants to come and join us next Tuesday night at 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern. Okay, Mary. Mary's editing. <sighs> oh, it's looking down on the dolphins. Is that what you're talking about, Becky? So, uh, but we will be doing journaling by fives again. And and uh, um, it's kind of freestyle. Anything you all want to do, how many ever pages you want to do. And I'm going to probably continue to work on the back side of mine. Mary wants to do the back side of hers. So she wants to do 15 minutes. And... Um, and then I th I think that would be fine. We'll just do 15 minutes and and whoever how many ever pages you want to do. And uh, if you already go ahead and have your book uh, book images already cut out and have your words already on the side, hi Holly. Then uh, that'll that'll make the game easier to play. So, yeah, that'll work. That will work. So we've done, we've done, uh, we've already done one journaling by fives, and it's on Lisa My Eclectic Life's channel. If you want to watch the the rerun of it, and I've done a couple of videos. Uh, uh, a couple of videos explaining how to play journalings by five and if you have any questions you can always message me in in on facebook i'll be glad to go over it again explain the game it's fun and uh and we guide you through the whole the whole game of it we do five prompts for 15 minutes each and the first prompt is adding color and then we go into texture and images and and uh, five prompts all together, but you get 15 minutes for each prompt to put on all of your pages all at once. The paper has already been removed from the back of the Dawson's. I just had them against the paper. Okay, okay. So they're just laying here, or is the paper permanent? They're already stuck down to the paper. Okay, so they're ready to use. Okay. 
oh they're just sort of sitting here okay okay I see so they're ready to use whatever I want to put them on and I can put them on on decorative paper uh, in in the in the book okay thank you but I I still want I still want to make some of my own and um, you know as a craft okay Becky thank you you've already taken the back off okay rabbit trail here this won't take me long fixing up some papers Lisa's making a traveling a traveling journal for her daughter and uh, her daughter is a poet and she has been writing poetry and I have a funny feeling that she is going to be published one day and Lisa is going to make a travel journal to put her poetry in so these papers are going to go to Lisa everybody doing this afternoon it's five five after five now five thirty I don't have to cook dinner for a little while because the chicken is falling out Gonna have chicken tonight. Okay. Walk the world. I remember you talking about it, but I couldn't remember everything. Okay. Well, I'll play along with you. I love maps and I love looking at the world and I love um, uh, studying it and the history of it. And I loved I love it when uh, they show those um, documentaries on the Pangea of the earth when when all of the land was together and uh, I love listening to stuff like that Holly she'll explain it she's she's going to make a book a journal a traveling journal book and you can make you can make a book with her It'll be fun.
Oh, that'll be fun, Lisa. So we can we can collage on the page of what of the what the poem says and and try to make something that matches. Okay. It sounds fun. Yeah, I'm in. And like I said, I've got I got some more of this. I didn't give it all to you. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get it all in here. It's going to creep out. Tanya was just talking about paper creeping. Well, it's going to creep out of this envelope. I got quite a bit in there. Let's see how many pages. I got 12 in there. Right. Okay. It's your own interpretation of the poem. We get to use our imagination. Hi, Christine. Hoping to do the cover sometime this week. Well, I'm going to get this right in the mail first thing in the morning. So hopefully it, hopefully it, it, it'll be something. But it, there's 12 pages in there, Lisa. So, and I, and I have a scale. I can, I can weigh it. Now, let's see. I need to calculate into ounces. I think it's the tear button. The ants. There we go. It's six point fourteen, so I would put seven stamps on it and it will go. Ta da, ta -da, ta -da.
Okay. Y'all talking about food. Oh my gosh. Bake City. Can't have the pasta. Lisa, do you eat pasta? I did eat pasta uh, Sunday. And it's the first time I've had... Uh, I had shrimp scampi. We went out to eat. And it's the first time I've had pasta since... Before... October of last year. Becky's going to go for a walk. Okay. Okay, Becky. Watch for cars. Right. I, I sort of, I just, we were out to eat and we were with some friends out of town and. Okay, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know? I can help you. I can help you. Oh, I think I think I miss I do miss pasta. And and when Joe was out of town, I cheated and had crackers. But uh, uh, yeah, I do I do that too. Uh, zucchini and then I like the uh, spaghetti squash is good. Yeah, I do that. And I I like my spaghetti sauce. I can eat spaghetti sauce and I put it on on my salad like a taco salad. I like it, but I I do know that my uh, my choices are lifestyle choices. But uh, I don't know that if I had a, a a breakthrough day, if that that that's not going to hurt me. I don't think if, if I go right back on my diet. I don't think it's going to hurt me to have one free day. I did Weight Watchers one time, and uh, and it was a lot like keto diet because it was eat so much meat a day, so many fruit and vegetables a day, and no bread, no starches, and it was it was very similar. And uh, and then on Sunday they said you could have a free day, and I did lose weight on that diet, the Weight Watchers. So. Uh, I don't think it would hurt if I, after I reach my goal, I haven't reached a hundred percent of my goal, but I've, I have, uh, I've reached a, a, a part, part goal because my doctor told me I was obese and I'm not considered obese anymore. So I have reached one part of my goal, even though I'm still overweight, uh, I like the sound of, of that other part. I do. Yeah. I understand, Janet. Every now and then you need your pasta. <laughs> spinach. That sounds good. I like spinach. Yes, you, Beth. Mary, yes, you, Beth. Yeah, you. Oh, for reaching part of my goal. Thank you, Mary. Yes, I was. I'm very pleased uh, at my weight loss. And I know that I have to continue to be uh, to do this diet 
to keep continue my health. I do know that. So, yes, that's what I meant. I, 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 I it was a special occasion, and uh, but but. I can't do it every week. No, 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 no. Not every week. Thank you. You go, girl. That's me. I'm going. So, uh, yeah. And it's not for everybody, but I think a lot of it is um, uh, just getting off the carbs. And uh, uh, the carbs were hurting me, you know. So, so I had to do something. And I tried, I tried every diet in the book. Thank you, Joyce. I've tried, uh, Weight Watchers did work for me, but it became expensive for me. So I quit the Weight Watchers. And I know it was the support more than anything. Um, and I still have all my Weight Watchers information, but, um, um, but I like I like what I'm doing now, and it's it's good. Now these little leftover parts would make great ACTs. I'll save those. Let's see. We'll just see. Oh, yeah. I can make some ACTs out of this. And I could do the, I can play the ACT on the back side and leave this for the back of the ACT card because it's pretty. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Now. That's what I'll do. Okay, take the kids to the chiropractor. See you. See you later. Bye, Lisa. Thanks for everything. Yeah, slow it down. Oh, bless her heart. She got a speeding ticket last week. You take something with a vitamin K cherry spinach oh, okay oh you can't eat it oh i see cherry okay well because you're on a blood thinner i totally understand that very interesting
I'm going to finish working on my signatures now. I got I got off on a a big old mermaid trail. It wasn't a rabbit trail. It was a mermaid trail and traveling trail. <laughs> traveling. But it's all good. I like to multitask. I really do. I can get twice as much done. <laughs> Sometimes. So, what else is going on? You're not supposed to eat broccoli either, Cherry. I eat a lot of steamed vegetables in my diet, salads. Well, let's see how many that makes me now. Oh yeah, that even gives me five, four, four, so I get to take one out, but which one, a short one, okay, this will be extra. So if I do, I've got three books, so I'm, I'm counting signatures. So I will put four signatures in each book. And I've got to have paper for each, each one. That'll be for that one, and this will be for the last one. And this will be what it looks like after I, before I get all the paper in. So,
I'm just putting these papers in. Okay. Paper. This is what Mary does when she makes her journals up at the beginning of the month. <laughs> so I learned from her. this and a little of that and next thing you know you've got a signature I got uh, all kinds of graph paper and school paper and stationery and uh, so there's a variety in here to for on each little bookie A variety. Violet, you're late? No, you're not late. We're just getting started. <laughs> okay, Violet. We're just putting together these little signatures to put in, uh, in, my, uh, in my book. Oh, no. Of Snow Thursday. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. You all guys, you guys need to come down here with me. I have good, good weather. This is my favorite time of the year. We did get a little bit of rain this afternoon. And Joe says that the temperature went down. It dropped like 10 degrees in 10 minutes. It was a cool rain. But it's still warm out. Yeah, I'm just using uh, different odds and end papers that I have in my stash ballot. 
the foothills of Tennessee. I like that. I'm from West Virginia. That's my neck of the woods. It is, it is. <laughs> yeah, Mary, if you if you listen to too many uh speakers they'll they'll buzz. <laughs> Me too, Mary Ann. I I'm just the cold is just I like it in this warmer weather and if I get hot I just turn the air on air on. Oh, she's working on all kinds of art projects in her room. Mary, the girls want to know what you're doing. What are you working on, Mary? Sometimes I wish it, I was maybe just up north a little bit further so that it wouldn't be as hot. Like where Aunt Beck lives. <laughs> now that would be good. South Carolina. You have a little bit of cool, crisp air. And... A lot of sunshine. Oh, yeah, she's ed editing videos. Okay, for the do -si do Okay. Well, I'll be interested to see your book, Mary. See how you did yours. I don't know how many more signatures I need. I have to count. I'm getting close. Let's see. I think I need one more. Nope. I got exactly enough. Would you just look at that? Looky at that. I 
Got a few extra sheets of paper. I'll just poke them in there. Poke them in there. I'm going to do it. I think we're doing good. Looking good. Thank you, Mary. Feeling good. Getting accomplished. Adding us a few more extra sheets of paper and it'll be perfect. Here we go. Last page. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. That's what it's going to look like when I get it all sewed in. Well, Linda, that's a very good question. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Hi, Sharon. I just sort of got my dosy -si dose -si book together. Um, I have a couple of uh, journal books that I've used over the, that I use all the time. Let's see if I can find any of them. And I did have... I did have a real pretty one. I'm just going to try to find it. Not in there. Maybe in here. Hmm. I was looking. And I might have. Uh, the one I'm looking for. I think I might have asked. Uh, I might have given it as a gift, but uh, but this little book here, I'm going to probably decorate each of the pages after I get it uh, get them sewed in. I'm going to sew them in in the book uh, this week, and and the, the the video that we watched today earlier today was at at. It was at Lisa's channel on Lisa My Ecleptic Life. And then in two weeks, it's Tuesday at noon central, one o'clock Eastern time. They're going to do another segment on this Dosey -si Doe book. 
did you get you did you get to hear uh about that linda did you get this did you see the do -si do video earlier today were you in on it okay okay so you you know what they made so they're going to do it again in two weeks and then then they're going to they're going to sew the signatures in and then i'm going to decorate each of my pages with a few stamps that i have i have i have some stamps um you know ink stamps and i also have some stickers and um cute things you know i might put some lace a piece of lace on something and i also have a little shoe box of ephemera which is just um old time pictures that's true holly you're right harley holly and 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 uh, but anyway linda i will be decorating my book and i i like to put lace and ribbon and trim in it uh, like put a little piece of ribbon on an edge or maybe make a pocket and tuck some things in there i can use tags in there and i like to decorate decorate them and uh, i also have another journal that i made several years ago and as you can see uh, it was a piece of um uh, scrapbook paper and and then i put some tabs on it you know and and then i use it to journal in and write notes in i'm more of a a list person uh things that uh to do list and i had a prompt i have i had a prompts in here sorted out um uh, i've got people on the net i put their address if i want to remember you know if i want to remember to go visit somebody on facebook or on youtube i can write their number there or their uh, their name i've got a schedule page uh wish list words i wrote down words lots of words um uh, just anything that interests me you know is i make a tab for and so uh that's how i do it and i always put the signatures in uh, sew them in, bind them in the book, and then I always tie on blings on my extra threads, and I will do that to this one. But this is the first time I've done a dosy -si dough -do book, but I will be decorating my pages with cute things. Anything that's cute. Yep. And I, I, that's why I've got it um, thin. You know, I've got room to grow. This is how thick my, my book is. But it's going to be a little bit bigger by the time I put some uh, pockets in. And, um, but I'm, I, it won't be fluffy. It won't be real fluffy. It'll be, it'll be a, a comfortable size. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to sew any of it tonight, but I will be sewing my signatures in, probably using th at least three holes, maybe four. And I love doing book binding. Um, it's real easy to do. This particular binding has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. And I used, in this particular book, I used embroidery thread. And on this book, I made this book. It's an envelope journal. And I used old recycle envelopes. And I binded each signature. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six signatures in this book. There's six signatures. That's a packet. And, and I sewed it in. Uh, let's see if I can count the holes here. It looks like I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. And I sewed it in, in and out, in and out, and back, back down. And then all of my threads come out up at the top. And this one, I haven't put my beads on yet. But I will be putting some beads on to this one. And, um, and this is just a cereal box. 
and then I used some fabric. I glued fabric on it and I tied it shut with a little, just a simple loose knot. So I like to make these books up and, and, and then this book, this book is a, a lot of envelopes. It's made out of envelopes uh, that I've received over the years. And then I've got a lot of tucks in them and I've, and see, I put, I tucked some stickers in here. I use a lot of wallpaper and then Lisa, um, she uh, does a, a wonderful show on Sunday afternoons. Uh, at 12 o'clock Central and 1 o'clock Eastern, Tanya McGuire does a totally junk, 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 junk journal uh, group. And it's also on her website at uh, Lisa, this, that, and chat, Lisa McGuire, this, that, and chat on, on Facebook. And she makes things to put in these junk journals. And we make, we make stuff out of just old stuff that's laying around. There's no money involved. Um, she she uses um, things that you would you would normally send in the in the trash, you know, and uh, and she teaches us how to do things and make things. And uh, this was this was another day that we used uh, this design, and uh, she taught us how to make it. So she's fun. She's fun. To, she's fun uh, to play around with your junk journal and learn how to do things to put in your junk journal. We made this one day. So um, and then here's another day we sewed. We sewed this tree in, and it's used for like a pocket. And we just use sewing thread, but it's cute. And then it's on the other side too. Lots and lots of things. And she uses a lot of junk mail and security envelopes to make designs and pattern, like quilt patterns and stuff. And and I'm telling you, if you if you haven't done any of the totally junk junk journal uh, videos on her on her channel, you need to go and see some of them and do them because they're fun and and she teaches you every step step of the way how to do it. But I've outgrown this this and so I've got a file over here for Tanya that I've, I've got to make me a new junk journal because this one is just too fat to put any more in it but that's just that's what I do with my journals and then this here was an, a leftover book it was a uh, uh, a little journal book that I had that I didn't use anymore so I took the pages and I glued, I glued two of the pages together to make them thick. And then I went through and I painted the papers. So I made another little journal book. So when I'm, when I, I need a little book to, to, to art in, I can use this book to art in. It's ready to art in. And this pamphlet here was a something in the mail. It was a little booklet that was in the mail. Uh, I can see some of the writing. It might have been part of a little a little magazine that was not real big. It was like a little magazine. So I curved the uh, edges of the paper and made them, made them like this. And I collared every page in the magazine. And I, I, sometimes if the magazine pages are thick enough, you don't have to glue them together with another page. But if the pages are too thin, then you would glue two pages together and then you can paint in it and it won't tear your book up. But this, this didn't tear up because the pages were, were in good shape. And uh, I did, oh, I glued down, I had this paper and I glued it down, collaged it down for a double page. It's in the center of the book. But this is, and this is just tissue paper glued down in the book. And then this is, these are paint, the different colors of paint techniques. So it's another art journal book that I'm ready to, to use. So that's what I do with my journals. Mary's looking for something. 
She's looking for a video. Okay, Violet, I can show you how to, uh, I can show you a simple stitch. Yeah, I'll do that right now. I'll show you how to, to do a simple stitch. And uh, I'm just going to use some scrap paper. And um, we'll just use this piece right here. It's easy to do. There's lots of different book binding techniques that um, that you can watch videos on. And I am going to use a piece of collared paper for my demo. I'm going to use a piece of collared paper so that you can sort of see what exactly I'm doing. Okay, this is my little book. This is my little book. This is my pretend book, Violet, okay? I'm pretending that this is a book. And I've got pages in my book. Now, sometimes when you're when you're putting a book together or a signature, this is my signature. Anytime you have several pages together and you fold them in half, this is a signature. And if you ever look in any books in the library, you'll see you'll see lots of signatures in the book. Now, some people, um, some books have a spine like this. This little square part right here is the spine of the book, right? Well, today I'm just going to use the fold and show you a pamphlet stitch. Very easy pamphlet stitch. Now, if I was going to use the spine and I had like maybe two signatures, I can show you how to do two signatures. I'll take half of my paper out. And I'll do two signatures. Now, the thing about your paper is you want your paper to be on the inside of your folder, on the inside of your bind. And I've got to, I've got to trim this up if I'm going to have a square spine. So that this is my book. This is the front page and this is the back page. And I can mark that so that if if I flip it, you'll see what I'm doing. Let's see here. So this is the front of the book. And this is the front on the inside. And this is the back on the inside. And then this is the back of the book. And then this part here is your spine. And I'm drawing this so that you can see the lines and see what I'm talking about. Are you with me? Okay. So here's your book. This is the spine. Now I am an amateur of at this I'm a I'm a I'm just an amateur <laughs> so I've got signature one and signature two now a signature is a group of papers 
a group of papers would make up a signature but for today I'm doing a pretend book this is just a pretend book so anytime you have papers to go in your book you don't really want them hanging out on the outside of your hardback right you want them to be on the inside so I would trim I would trim off the top so that they'd hang down a little bit below the top of the book and the same thing on the in on the bottom so I want to trim it about right there and about right there all the way down to here so that my signatures are all going to be on the inside of my big book of my hard book and you can measure and and all that but you know i i'm just judging it i'm just eyeballing it so your signatures are going to be inside your book and you've got a little bit of space around your your hard by your hard book right so that's this is good you've got your pages and everything so in order to sew these in your book you have to decide how many holes you want to use whether it's two one hole two holes or three holes you know you want them spaced out equally so it makes no difference how many holes you use as long as they're spaced out equally the bigger the book the more holes but for a little book like this I'm going to I'm just going to do three three holes just to make it simple so I'm dividing this into three into 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 thirds so really I mean it's it's got to be four because I want four I'm going to have three holes but there's going to be one two three four sections here so three holes okay so you can you can do the exact um the middle of the page would be i'm hitting stuff over here it's bugging me now um you could if you had one of those rulers that had the zero in the middle you can do that but you can divide your your paper and make and and try to find the center okay so regardless regardless of what it says here i'm just going to i'm just going to go ahead and make three holes and i'm just really eyeballing it i'm not really measuring it you can figure out the measurements yourself uh but right here is 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 in the middle and i'm going to go right here in the middle of that okay so these are going to be my three holes and 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 it's perfectly fine for me so i'm going to mark my papers where they are where the holes are going to be on the spine of these papers and i'm going to do it on both sides just because i can And then I'm also going to mark a line because I've got two signatures. I'm going to have two sig. I need two spaces for my signatures to go. So this will be the first signature, and this will be the second signature. This will be the first signature and the second signature. First signature, second signature, and that's those are the those are the X marks the spot where my needle is going to go in those spots. Okay, and I've got two signatures. So these holes, when I put them in, are going to go in the first little X, and then the second signatures holes will go in the second X. Am I making it clear? Okay. I think I'm I think we're I'm explaining it okay, aren't I? So okay. So now I'm going to take my needle and 
in um, in two weeks Tanya is going to show you how to put a multiple page signature in the do -si do book in a couple of weeks uh, it'll be uh, uh, two weeks from today and it'll be at 12 noon central and one o'clock eastern she's going to show you how to put it in here good 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 and she's going to show you how to poke a hole through multiple pages but today I'm just going to go quickly and show you what you want to do I'm going to turn my page inside out so that my markings are on the inside and I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to poke in the fold exactly where those marks are and that's where I'm going to end up sewing it in but I'm making the holes right now and then I'm going to fold it back out I made I made my three holes and I'm going to fold it back out because this is my signature one and it's going to go there I'm going to do the same thing with this second signature because I've marked it out and you would mark these markings on the inside if you were doing multiple holes but I'm just going to fold it over backwards because I've already got it marked and I'm going to make my holes I could also line it up with my first page and I've already got the holes in right so I can go right into the same holes and and poke the hole through my second signature and I can do that on all three and I'm in directly in the spine on the fold I'm not off to the side I'm in the spine so there I have both signatures number one and number two with the proper holes in the right spots. now I'm going to do the same thing to my spine on my book cover I'm going to do a hole for the first one and a hole for the second one they're spaced out evenly on the spine if you had three signatures then you would space it out by threes you could also on a small book like this you could do a hole punch uh, a handheld hole punch and make a big hole for all of the signatures to go through this same hole and put an eyelet on it there's lots and lots of ways to bind a book so don't be frustrated with just this one style so there's lots of other styles to do it and there's no right or wrong as long as you're happy with your work and you can watch um, lots of binding uh, videos just Google Google how to bind a book so I'm just doing the most simplest book that we can find and now I'm going to get some embroidery thread and Lisa was talking earlier today that she was using cordage cordage it's, it's like a bead cord cording that you find in the bead section um, at, at Walmart you can find the the rope cordage and it's a type that you make jewelry with and you can use that kind of cord you can use any kind of a rope string twine you can get the wax linen um, thread which is very sturdy you can buy professional thread or you can use crafting threads and I'm going to use a black thread today so that you can see what I'm doing and I, again I'm very 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 amateurish but this is how I learned to do it and I've done quite a few um, yeah cool beans yeah this is great this is great and and this is how i do my my bindings and uh and i love doing them i love doing them they're fun i enjoy it so the way i do mine um profess professionally they say three times the length is more than enough thread to bind a book but I always do four 
for good measure. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. And then while I'm at it, I'm just going to hold these two strings together since I've got two signatures. And I'm just going to make this again and cut twice. So I don't have to measure twice. But I can remeasure it. It's one, two, three, and four. That's more than enough thread for, for you to do what I'm doing today. So this is for both signatures, okay? So I'm going to separate them and use this for the second signature in a minute. And we're going to do the first signature. So I just, you can use a sharp needle or a blunt needle. I have a, an, a, a needle point needle that's dull, but either needle is correct, is okay. But I'm going to use this one because it's got a little bit bigger of an eye. <laughs> Make it easier on myself to thread this thing. And I say that as I cannot even thread it. <laughs> and another way, if you can't thread your needle with all of these different threads, all you have to do is take a little bit of your glue and put it on the end of your thread just like that. That's all you need. And then you twist it and, and twist it real tight. And it dries really fast. Then you can, you can use this to thread your beads. Thread on beads or to thread your needle. And make it quick and easy. Just like that. Simple. So, I'm going to use my thread uh, in a single, uh, with a single thread. And so I've just, I don't have it knotted or anything. I don't need to have it knotted yet. And you might need a paper clip, a little paper clip. I say that as I hunt for a paper clip. Here's a paper clip. And I'll show you that in a second. So it's just a simple pattern with your, with your tails. You can leave your tails on the inside or the outside. And it's totally, totally up to you. I'm going to leave my tails this time on the first signature on the outside. And then when I do the second signature, I'll show you how to leave them on the inside. And you can choose which way you like it. You might want one, in the, one out and one in. That's totally up to you. So the first signature, I'm going to leave my tail on the outside. So I'm going to start on the outside. So remember, we've got two holes. And the one at the front, the one towards the front is the first signature. So I'm going to go in the first signature hole and in the first signature together at the same time. And I'm going to pull my thread through and I'm going to take my paper clip and clip it down so that I don't pull it all the way through. So I just literally have it paper clipped. And if you want, you can paper clip your signature too. And it'll hold it still for you as you do the rest of the maneuver. But you want to keep your signature lined up with the holes that you have already made. And so it's going to be down a little bit. Remember how we cut, trimmed the paper on the inside to fit good in the page? So we want... We want to keep it that far away from the edge and then put our paper clip there. And on the outside, it's holding our tail. So, so we can continue with our thread and pull until the loose, 
the slack is out. I'm not jerking it. I'm just it's just barely barely tucked. Okay. So now because of I ha because I have three holes, if I go in here and and back up in in the in the, if I go in and then out, then I still need to get back up here to this hole because I want to tie my uh, tack my tails on the outside because that's what I started to do. So instead of going into the second hole, I'm going to skip this one and go into the third hole and into the first uh, signature hole on on the back of the book. So I'm going to go in my signature and then in the first hole, remember the second hole was for the second signature. So I'm going into that first hole there. So I'm going into the holes that I have lined up. And you can see that it's correct because these three holes on the front side are the first for the first signature. And then these three holes on the back towards the back side of the spine are for the second signature. So I'm going to pull my thread all the way through until it's just barely tight because I don't want to jerk it out from here. Now I want to go in this in the, the first hole in the middle of the spine and I will go through the middle signature hole and you can see that I've done it correctly because I'm in this I'm in the front part of the spine and I'm in the front the first signature so this is how I do my simple pamphlet stitch and now I'm going to go back out I did this wrong now you see I made a mistake but you know what it can be fixed <laughs> <laughs> you see, if I go back out this hole, I, I, I won't have anything to tie my, my knot with. So I'm going to undo part of my stitch. I'm going to take it off my thread, off my needle. Now, all I have to do is pull it back out. And no harm is done. No harm is done. I'm going to leave it in the top, the top stitch. And I'm going to re-thread my needle back in, which I can do very easily because my, my tails are glued together. Now, I'm going to go back out the center hole and do it correctly. Now, you see how easy it is to do this? Now, I'm going to go to the bottom hole and go back up. And I'm going to make sure I hit the right hole, which is towards the front of the book. And the third hole in my signature. Now, I am going to go back in the middle and come out to the back side of the book. And this is why I wanted to come out this hole. Now, if any time you think that you have, I'm going to go ahead and take this off for just a minute. Like, for example, if you feel that this is not long enough of a tail, then all we have to do is go back and loosen it up so that we can pull some more out the other end. And it pulls really easy. Okay, so I've got two strings on the outside and I actually have my signature sewed in, my first signature sewed in, in my book. We're done. That's it. So on the outside, all you're going to do is tie a knot and tie your two tails together. And I'm going to specifically tie them towards the top of my hole so that they'll dangle down. That's just a personal preference. If you want, you could tie them in the middle and tie a bow. If it's a big book, you can do that and, and it would look fine. It would look equal. But just for today, I'm going to tie it at the top 
because that's what I usually do. So I'm doing a simple Boy, Boy Scout knot, tennis shoe knot, however, what other kind of knot you want to make. You can tie two times or three times. It doesn't matter because this thread is not going to show. But I've got it taut. Uh, there's, no, there's nothing real, real loose. It's not tearing anything. And, I'm, and we have completed our first signature in our book. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the next signature, but I thought I would show you how to tie it on the inside. Zoe, we've had some rain here too down in Florida, and Aunt Beck has had some rain up in South Carolina. Okay. So, as you can see, it's really simple. Once you do it a couple times, you'll get hooked and you'll want to make books all the time. So, my second signature is right here with my string already there. So, I'm going to take my thread and put my glue on it like I like to do. Just a little bit of glue. Not a whole lot of glue, just a little bit. Twist it. Make it pointy. It dries very fast. Of course, it gives your glue all over your fingers, but that's good. That's a good thing. And then I have my needle. And I can thread my needle real fast. So I've got my signature. Now, in, since I'm going to put the tails on the inside, I'm going to start on the inside, and basically it's the same thing, only I'm going from the inside out. So I want my tails to, to be at the top. You can choose where you want your, your tails to come out at. So I'm going into the first hole, and the first hole in the, towards the back of the spine, and out the back. And I'm going to take my paper clip and clip my pages together leaving the frame and I'm going to clip down my, ta uh, my tail my last tail under there just so that it doesn't pull all the way through it's just enough to keep it taut just enough to keep it from accidentally pulling through so there's my there's my inside stitch. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the first signature, except the tails are on the inside. So I'm going to go in the middle and come up the middle of the second signature. And sometimes you have to sort of eyeball that hole by folding it over and looking for it. And, and it's easy to find. It's really easy to do once you get going. Pulling it tight, making sure that these tails aren't snagged underneath this one, and they're not. They're over to the side, and I've got it snug so that this tail is okay. And now I'm going to go into the third hole and out the third hole of the back signature. And if you can't see it, then you might have to look, take a quick little peek and look for that hole, which is right there. You might have to peek, and that's okay to peek, but it's easy to do. And you can do it without ruffling your papers up. It, you really can. So I'm just going to pull this tight, uh, taut, not extremely tight. And now I'm on the back side, and I'm going to go up through the middle and now that these are lined up it's usually it's usually a straight throat a straight shot through the middle of the spine if your holes are lined up really nice and this will come with practice and you'll get it so I'm down I'm in the middle of the book I'm going to take my needle off and I'm going to choose how I want to tie this and again, I'm going to add 
I want to add more of the length to this. So I'm loosening it up a little bit. And then I pull my short end to make it a little longer. And now I'm going to tie this off. This is this is not the only blanket stitch. There's another one that ends up in the middle. And, and that's where you take, you come in and you go through the third one and you come up the middle one and you straddle you straddle the, the the line in the middle and you and you tie your knot around that middle one there's lots of other ways to do this and i and i'm pretty sure that that um, you know you'll be taught that soon enough that style so uh, just know that whatever you do however you bind your book as long as you're happy with it that's all that matters. And the main thing is that we've, we've, we've got two signatures in here in our little booklet. And, and you can see there's the second signature and the first signature. And when you do your book, you're going to have more papers involved. And you're going to choose to put your tie ties in or out. It's your choice. And, and um, it's your choice how many holes you want to do. If you want to do just two holes, that's fine. For a book this size, two holes is perfect. And I've done two holes. Um, I've done two holes. I have one here that I've done two holes in. So I thought... I've carried them all. Here it is. Here's a book that I did on New Year's Eve. And it's just two holes. Two holes. And they, they, they basically both come out on the back. And then I did a little braid. And tied the knot at the top of the two holes. And you've got a book. This is done on Mary's, Mary's New Year's. Uh, Mary's New Year's streamathon, Mary Altier. We did this on her her game night, and this was a pick ten New Year's Eve game. And I took it and I did it on both sides, and I made a booklet out of it. And this was done just this year, two holes, one signature. And I keep it like right here beside me so I can write things down as I need. You know, it's in, and, and if some people take and put this in with a rubber band and then they can, they can put new signatures in as they need new paper. So that is how you bind a book. Now, and there's lots and lots of videos on how to bind a book. There's different methods, and they, they all have names. And, and I don't know the names of the stitch I did. I have no clue who it belongs to. Somebody invented it before me. But, but I just showed you a simple way to do it. And, then, and you can see there's two stitches. Two signatures in this book you can see there's one two and they're in the middle of the spine and the bigger the spine the more signatures you can put in this one's got six hi Lynn okay I'll see if I can't find it honey So, and, and this was just done out of a cereal box, crackers or something. And this one, this one here was done just on a half of a piece of typing paper, folded exactly in half. And that's the size I, I did this one in. And it's got 
four signatures in it. And they're all straight, straight as a line. They're straight, straight, straight. And then, and then with your tails, you can add your beads and your bling. And I have to have a little bling on mine. I just have to. It just feels so good. <laughs> Violet, you're going to have to tell me what you're, what kind, what are you looking for? Oh, does that have to do with the uh, the flooding up in Nebraska? Okay, bye, Mary. Thank you, Mary. See you later. I'm not going to stay on. I got to go fix dinner. <laughs> no, Beth. Okay. I'll have Violet explain it to me. So you go. Pope Farm Converser. Okay. Yeah, my cereal box, my cracker box. That's my totally junk, junk journal, Giovanna. Thank you, honey. Oh, okay. Okay. I got you, Mary. And Violet knows the Pope Farm, too. Okay. That's great. Okay. I understand. She likes to go and sketch. Bye, all. Bye, Mary. See you soon. I'll probably see you tomorrow at Becky's place. So anyway, um, that's how I bind a little book. And that's how I'm going to bind this book, my do, -si -do book. And it'll be a little bit more difficult, Violet, but, but it's not, it's doable. It is doable. And I, my book, it's got four signatures in each one. And I will do the same thing that I just showed you. I will take... And I will measure, I'm going to sit this side. This is one signature. And I will measure in here, I will draw four, I can draw four lines to, to uh, so I'll know where exactly my signatures are going to go. Um, I probably, I don't have to draw the lines anymore. All I need is a little dot. So because I've done it so many times, I can I can pretty much t take my, I have a one inch spine. So it would have been really easy if I only had three signatures. But since I'm putting four in, I've got to count centimeters. So I will go to make four, that's it. I count three centimeters and I make a dot, but I want to do it this way. How many, how many uh, inches? Six inches. So I could do four, two, or five, three, one. I will, I'm going to do five, three, one. And, uh, and that's inches. I've got six inches here. So I'm just measuring this in my head. And I'm going to I'm going to be making my dots at five. And I'll I'll just make a little dot on this on the uh, the crease. I'm gonna do it at five, three, and one. And I've got two inches here and two inches here with one inch at the top and the bottom. And that, that's fine for me. So then, 
now that I've got the the three marked I've got four signatures so I'm going to count centimeters and do right across my line and I'm just eyeballing it I'm going to go with three centimeters six centimeters nine centimeters and then I've got I've got to have four so if I put yeah this is what I want I want to do one here and one here I divided up so that I can get four signatures I'll divide it up so I can get four signatures along through there the first dot is on the spine I will not put a signature on the spine so I want four signatures divided up equal in that one inch space and that looks good enough for me okay and I'll do the same thing at the next dot I'll divide it up into four so it'll be right here right here right there and right there And this would be where my needle will go for the second one. And I will poke needles in here and make the holes. So I'm going to do the same thing at the last dot. It's not rocket science. It's easy. You just divide it up equally. And it's not exact. It's it's close enough. And there's the last four. So I will poke. I'll take my sharp needle and I will poke holes in all four of those. And it's cardboard, so it's going to take a little bit of pushing. But my needle will go through it. You can also use another tool called an awl, and it's a pokey tool that uh, I, I borrowed from my husband in the workshop, and it's a pointy tool. Um, I believe they called them ice picks. This one, this one my husband used with leather. He was, had a leather workshop, so he used it to make belt buckler holes in his belts. And you can take and, and do a punch. And it's got a big handle here that you can punch if you've got some padding down. And I do have padding down underneath my counter here. I've got foam and I've got uh, about six layers of wallpaper. So it doesn't hit my countertop. But you can make a hole with, with this thing. Because it's just cardboard. Or you can just use your needle like I was doing. But this, this does a pretty good job. It made the holes. See if you can see through the holes. It made the holes. There they see. There's my holes. And again, it's not exact. It's 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 close enough. Close enough. It's not perfect. It's, it's, I'm, it's crafts by hand. We're doing hand crafts. Hi, Mitzi. I was explaining how to do a book binding. So again, when you put your signature in, you know, I, you can number them if you need to number them. I'm not. I won't because I know what I'm. I just if and if and if worse comes to worse. And you sewed it on the wrong hole or something. You got a cattywampus. Well, you just take that thread out. You haven't tied a knot yet. <laughs> and you go back and fix what you need to fix. Easy as that. So I'm going to mark on the inside. I know that it was at, at one, three, and five. So when I lay my, my book open, 
and I've got it situated where it's supposed to be on the inside of my book, I can measure, you know, I got a, a little space at the top and a little space at the bottom. I can go here on the line and mark, uh, I want to go to the, to the back of the book with my ruler and I'm going to mark one, three, and five on the paper. It the ruler goes to the edge of the book, not the paper, because the paper has a, a seam allowance, right? So I'm in the I'm in the crease. Here's the crease of the book. It's hard to see. So I want to make I want my ruler on the edge of the book the back of the book and I'm going to mark one three and five in the crease okay and then you're going to take take this crease and you're going to take a paper clip and you're going to clip it together and sometimes you take these big clips and you clip it together for even extra security. Okay. And you're going to take your, uh, you're going to take your needle or your awl and you want to poke a hole right in the spine, not off to the side, but directly under the spine. And this is where she was talking about an old book or an old phone book or an old catalog. And you take and sit this in a book. And I just happen to have a book right here. Just an old book from the library. I'm going to open it up to the middle of the book. And I'm going to sit my signature, the fold, right in the middle of this book. Now I've already got my holes marked where I want to go. So I'm going to take my awl and I'm going into the crease. And into the crease of the book. Okay. And I'm going to hold it real tight. And I'm going to push. And go straight into the spine of this book. And it did. It went down about that much. I went through all of the pages of my signature. And I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull this all out. And I did. I did my hole. And it was straight in the middle of that fold out the back if you don't do it this way with lots of papers then your then your your signature won't lay flat in your book and your it'll be cockeyed it won't be the end of the world if it does so you will get better with each book that you make you will get better and better okay but this is how you make a perfect straight down hole through all of the papers in the crease by using an old book. And this book is going to get uh, repurposed. I've got plans for this book. So I'm going to the next hole and I'm in my crease. I'm in the crease of the book. You sort of close the book up and you push with your awl or your whatever pointy tool that you have and, you're, and you go down into, through the book and when you pull it out, you can see you've made a hole. It's really easy. This tool is easy. Uh, hardware store has them. Sometimes you can find um, a file like this. Uh, there's a set of files that I get from uh, Harbor Freight. And sometimes you'll get a, uh, it's a set of files. And sometimes you'll get one with a point on it. And you can use this as well. This happens to be square. And I've got another one that's round. I've got a whole set of these. There's like six of them. And uh, and this one here is round instead of triangled. This one's round. So this you could use this as you can use either one of these as a pointy tool. Very acceptable. So you can use a pencil if you're you know if you want to if you don't have anything but a pencil. You can use a pencil. 
you will leave my pencil marks but it's you can still do it with a pencil just saying so this is the third hole and i'm going to use this file it's a round file and i use it in my crafts and i'm going to go in this the the top hole and i'm in the center of the book i kind of close the book up a little bit and i push down and i go through every single sheet of the book of the signature and there's my point and with this file you can just twist it a little bit and it'll file through <laughs> so it's fine it went through so i can pull it out i'm going to leave the paper clips on there so that i can sew it i can sew it in my spine and uh and now i'm going to line my holes up with the first set of uh, of holes on the spine and i'm going to lay my book down and i'm going to paper clip my book together so that it doesn't slip and my holes are kind of lined up and it just makes life a little easier when you do it this way and you can use as many paper clips as you want okay and now i'm ready to sew this signature in and it's three holes and i'll probably do it the same way i showed you on the first little booklet we did over here and i'll have my tab my ta tails on the outside So, any questions? That's the same, it's the same procedure. And there's tons and tons of videos. And I highly recommend that you uh, uh, look at some of the videos. And if you did something like your tails were left on the inside and these were left on the outside, you can take and tie them all up here on top if you wanted to. You don't have to leave them leave them where they are you can still you can still use them again by just tying a uh tying them time tying, tying, tying them all together and then i can leave them all up there and there i still have my tails for my bling So, any other questions on how to bind a book for now? You're all ready to try a little bit? <laughs> you got some homework to do. Did you all, did everybody do a do-si-do -do booklet? Okay. Okay, Joyce. Joan made a messy mess. Well, what did you make a mess of? I hope I got you all started on, on a little bit of it. And 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 if you've never binded a book before just know that that if you start off little, you know, just like I did here on this little sample, it's a mess. If you would just do a little one, just a sample like this one, like I just showed you, 
you could go back to the video and do it again with me because this will upload here as soon as I sign off and do it again and you can pause and 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 put two signatures in your book in a sample book with and all I have is three pieces I have a hard piece for the back for the the, the book and I've got two pieces of paper for my signatures yeah well we'll keep trying on the one you got and and you'll get it you'll get it and practice it took me it took me a couple times to do it pretty and I'm still not perfect and this is not the the professional way to do a book binding I just did it I just did it the way I felt looked all right for me it's probably not done the professional way but I did it good enough for us I like it but if you just if you would just practice on three pieces of paper yeah and and uh, you know it's it and once you watch the videos you and you practice this first and then you watch a new video then you'll see you'll understand because you've already done it one way you'll understand how to do it the other way another way and another way there's there's like i said there's lots and lots of different names for these bindings uh patterns so it doesn't have to always be you know my way it could be an it could be a professional way you can be professionals but uh yeah and I did another little book like this um, out of a candy box that was about this size. And then I took a piece of lace and tied it to hold it together. And I keep it in my purse for uh, notes when I'm, you know, when I'm out and I need to make a note. Keep it in my purse. So anyway, that's that's all I'm I'm going to do today. There's my do -si do book and I'm going to. Uh, continue to work on it in the next two weeks and and uh, I've got an extra book this one needs a book but I've got four signatures in each one of mine and I used a um, some scrap cardboard cardboard that I had so I hoped it helped hopes hopes and you can always you know ask me some more questions later if there's anything else I can do to help you tomorrow I'll come back on tomorrow I don't know what time I'll be on but uh, tomorrow is Wednesday so uh, I might come on late afternoon okay you're welcome you're welcome guys so uh, yeah and uh, and if you uh, need to wait and watch Tanya, you know, and I bet you anything, Tanya's got, uh, I bet she's got videos on binding. Okay, Journey. I'll go over and look for it. Journey, do you have my address? Or you emailed me so that I can send you your address. My address to you. Okay. Alrighty. And it and if anybody wants to do the napkin journal with me, um, I am having a napkin um, trade. If you want to trade napkins. I can tell you that information right now. If anybody's interested in the napkin trade. Lost everything I need to tell you about it. Okay, Journey. Does anybody need any napkin exchange uh, information on on the napkin exchange? I 
I had some information right here, but I've lost it. Oh, here it is. Found it. Okay. All right, Journey. Does anybody else want any instructions on the napkin game or the exchange? I don't have to. I can wait till somebody needs it. If you have any questions, you can message me on Facebook under my name. And uh, Journey said she sent me an email, so she has my email address. So I'll go over and look on my email. And I will and I and I will send you my address. Okay. But I showed off my um, napkin journal, my my napkin collection. <laughs> and, and it's just a collection of napkins that I put in an old photo book. And I am want, wanting to start to do some napkin journaling where we actually do an art page with parts of a napkin and and use collage and use magazine pictures and use different media paint wallpaper magazines scraps and uh, make things uh, like an art page that's my goal so i'll be glad to do that with everybody uh one of these days Okay. Bye, Lynn. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be back on tomorrow. All right. No other questions. I'm going to say good, good night for the evening. I'm going to go pick some, Joe some chicken. So I'll see you all later, okay? All right. Night, night.